What's up everybody? This is Matt from Rocky's War Room and today I'm going to show you something I got in the mail that I was curious about. I couldn't decide whether or not uh, I was going to go with uh, Perry Miniatures or 15 mil or 28 mil um, or what company? Old Glory, Peter Pegg. Uh, but I narrowed them down to between Old Glory and Perry Miniatures. So I got a sample of both. Um, but uh, the uh, Perry hasn't come in yet. But uh, uh, I think <laughs> after seeing these models, honestly, 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 I think that uh, I am going to go with Old Glory after seeing them. Now, I haven't seen the Perrys, but uh, <clears throat> these Old Glory match up perfectly with uh, the uh, War Games Factory um, Warlord models. But anyway, uh, I got some Foot Swordsmen and I got a Command. And they're Old Glory Miniatures. Um, they come in a package. Uh, old Glory Miniatures recreate famous battles with the Old Glory Miniatures, sculpted and cast to the highest standards produced by Old Glory USA, and it contains lead not suitable for young children. So, <laughs> remember that. But uh, there you go. If you're wondering throughout the video what they are, they are Old Glory Miniatures. So, we're going to start. Uh, I got a command pack, and I got some foot swordsmen. So we're going to take a look at those. Uh, all right. These are the foot samurai. And uh, you get several poses. And even with the multi-poses, you get different, different samurai uh, heads and stuff like that. But here's the first one. Uh, not too many people are a fan of Old Glory, but my goodness, this is a nice model. <laughs> um, I'm sure Perry's have got... Uh, some more detailed maybe or, or or a little bit fatter but these are very good looking if you're looking for samurai I can already tell you I would recommend these models here's another one here's a swordsman with a bow obviously you got to cut the flash off and you got to you know bend the bow but he's got hair coming down out of his hat there different style hat he's got the arrows on the back a nice model so here's another one of the one we just saw there's two of those we got one guy who's really pissed off he's <laughs> he's running after the enemy he doesn't have a samurai hat uh, he's just ah and there's a little bit of a glare isn't there but you can see the detail on the face there uh, they all got mustaches Here's another one. This one here has got the hilt. He just pulled his sword. Let's get in there real close. If we can. It's pretty cool. I really like the looks of these. Um, you can probably make out their faces better if you actually saw them or if they're primed and gray. But there you go. You can even see the couple eyes in the head and the inside their helmet. Um, detailed helmets too. I mean, they're not definitely not smooth helmets. Come on, camera. There we go. There it is. Here's another one of the ones we saw, right there. Another man, a different guy. So the guy that's throwing up the sword here, they're a little bit different. Um, this one has no no helmet or hat or anything of that kind, and. This other gentleman, he's got a helmet of some kind or a hat on, and he's got a war cry. So they're essentially the same pose, just different heads. So that uh, that impressed me very much. Let's see if I can't get this to focus. Come on now, there we go. 
very nice. Um, here's another one of those guys who we saw first screaming his war cry. Here's another helmet, a uh, different kind of samurai helmet. Here's that same guy we saw. Uh, same guy we saw. Let's see if there's anything different here. Um, that one's different. You can kind of see the face. There you go. Pretty nice. This one, he's going in for a stab. You have Mr. Roar Cry. I mean, I'm still pulling out new models that I have. I mean, this right here. I really like them. I mean, there's detail in the bow. There's detail in the arrows. Uh, the swords are a little beefy. Um, but, I mean, that's probably the best you could do with metal anyway. And then he's got his, <laughs> his helmet hanging off the back there. Which I think that's a really cool touch. Um, let's see if there's any other different ones here. Just saw that one. Saw that one. Saw that one. So there's about 30 figures. And if you're part of the Old Glory Army, um, you can actually get these 30 Samurai Swordsmen. 21 bucks plus shipping you know so you buy it you buy everything from old glory in bulk because it's only nine bucks shipping uh depending on how much you get of course but uh these here are the swordsmen now let's make a comparison and uh my comparison is the new warlords uh warlord games miniature from the brigands and bandits now let's get one standing up right here now well, he's kind of crouching we gotta find one standing they're about just as meaty and uh, this one looks a little bit taller but uh, who uh, it looks like they're 25s to the eye that might be it but compared to warlord they're so dang close <laughs> <laughs> they're they're really close they're probably three millimeters off so um or two um well that's the commands so these are the swordsmen and i also picked up one of the command packs now the only thing that confused me about the command packs is they only came with two of these fellas so we're going to lay these out and let you guys look at them here. I'll zoom in here. They're very nicely detailed. I love this pose. I was hoping to get more. Uh, but you get all these bannermen, which is fantastic. I love this one. This one is incredible. I love the look of it. A little Ashigaru banner awesome let's see what else here got this one got three of each so you get that's all the bannermen you get out of the 30 miniatures they send you for commands so that's for the for the most part enough to do at least you know unit of ashigaru a few units of either samurai samurai or ashigaru and then uh, your samurai banners and stuff so that's pretty neat but uh that's how many banners you get i could easily do three ashigaru and five samurai with just these banners here so uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out what banners what uh, specifically uh, to the army uh, via uh, Osprey book. So that's the banners. Now these, there's a drummer right there. You can see that. It's a drum on his back. 
It's an Ashiguro hat. Looks like he's got the leather armor, but no leg protection. <clears throat> so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight drummers. Then you got these nifty guys, which are swinging around whatever that is. <laughs> That looks like a whip, possibly, but I doubt it's a whip. It just looks like some sort of uh, war banner of some kind. Now, I don't know everything about the samurai. We're going to figure it out as I go, but uh, um, this is one of the poses, and I believe you only get two of those. It's probably uh, a commander of some kind rallying his troops. So you get two of those, which is cool, something different. You get two, four, six, eight, uh, two, four, six, eight of these guys here, which are the uh, horns. So I'm assuming out of this pack, you should be able to do uh, eight units, I guess. I'm guessing um, two, four, six. Yeah, there's eight bannermen, so eight fl eight flags, eight eight musicians, and uh, commanders. You get two, four, six commanders. So it's a little confusing, <laughs> uh, but this is probably this is another commander here, and this is another commander here. So yeah, there's eight commanders. So that's good. Two, four, six, eight. So eight drummers. Eight horn blowers, eight commanders. Okay, that makes sense. It's enough to do eight units. That's good because I have eight more units coming. So I might have to get another command pack later on. But uh, here's your various commanders. And they're really nice. So I showed you one of them. So let's go ahead and show you a couple more. So these are both the same pose for the most part. He's about to pull his sword. And he's pointing that way and shouting, as you can see, in his face, which is nice. I like the face detail. And we have two of these fellas here, which got their hands up as if they just swiped their sword. Um, obviously, their sword needs to come up a little bit. It needs to be, they need to be bent right. So there you go. And then last but not least, we have these fellas here. Um which are very nice looking uh, commanders without their helmets. Uh, I'll probably reserve these for the Ashigaru um, leaders because they're the ones that look like they have the least amount of armor on them. So there's something in here for every single, um, for samurai commanders and or your foot, foot Ashigaru or even peasants you could use some of these for. So I've got villagers coming too because I thought villagers would be awesome there's 30 villagers in a pack, and you got all different kinds of villagers to be around town and stuff like that. So, but we'll uh, zoom out here. There we go. So, all this right here was 42 bucks. That's not bad. I'm glad I'm part of the Old Glory Army. So there you go, folks. You see my samurai. Uh, I will be uh, showing you more as I go. This is for my mass battles. This will be for uh, uh, BobCon 2018. This will be my goal for next year. I love the samurai. Um, <clears throat> I have other projects, obviously, too, but uh, the samurai is something I've fallen in love with very much. But uh, these are nice models. I can't wait to paint them, but they're going to have to hold off until I get that Test of Honor stuff completed. So I'm just going to put these in a in a, a box and uh we will see these pulled out again at the beginning of the year uh or whenever i finish my test of honor stuff so and we'll see these in mass <laughs> so i got a couple rule sets that i'm looking at i've got killer katanas 2 i have uh taiko um of course you know warlord games uh has pike and shot which has the era of samurai in it um but i, I am totally open to any other rule sets that deal with uh, um, samurai, samurai battles, that sort of thing. 
So uh, <clears throat> if you have any any ideas as far as rule sets go, please put them in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I really appreciate it. Spread the word. Tell your friends. Like this video. And last but not least, ta-ta! And we'll see you in the next video.